Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Omega Junji, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Remake Rebirth. Um, alright, oh yeah, so, uh, Tifa's knocking at the door. Sorry, did I wake you? Nope. What's going on? Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. Sure. Great. But not here. Follow me. Man, I wonder how many copyrights I'll get today in this stream. Fucking upload the first stream to YouTube and got like three copyrights all from the weird ass music. Why is there not a streamer mode in this game? And I killed her. So, who is she? Or rather, what is she? Hey, this is like the guy from Resident Evil 7. Or Resident Evil 4, I mean. Yeah, gonna get copyrighted for that. So much copyright. Square Enix is a dick because of copyrights. Fucking ass wipes. I mean. Do you think Midgar's over there? Anyway. There's something I need to ask you too. <laughs> How'd your boobs get bigger? <laughs> that night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? <sighs> Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? Sure. <sighs> I can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. But here we are. Here, look. My scar, that proof enough? After you left, Zongon found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Wasn't just him though. There's the doctor who operated on me all night and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? In fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years. You know, I can't tell you that. Of course you can't. Hmm. Sorry, I just need some space. But that makes absolutely no fucking sense because she was the one who got woke us up anyways. Why she needs space now? There's a lot of space out here. Kiva, I love you. Copyright, 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 copyright. could just pick up where we left off like nothing had changed but I guess I was wrong guess so I was so happy to see you again but maybe I shouldn't have been smooth man smooth Not saying you're an idiot, Cloud, but you're an idiot. You two fight? No. Yes. We have enough problems as it is. Copy? Man, there's a nice. very low fucking beds. Tomorrow is another day. 
Yes, it is. And apparently nobody knows how to turn a light out. Never meet your heroes. <laughs> Chapter 2. A new journey begins. Um, let's see, let me make sure there's nothing around here for me to interact with. Pretty, pretty, so cute and lovely and nice and generic and copyrights. That's copyright, that's copyright, I'll just copyright Copyright everything, what the hell? What's this? A gift from our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's blood? Huh. You can now play the card game Queen's Blood, find other players, uh, dominate with the icon around the world and challenge them to matches. Should you win, give it a new card, add a collection. Defeating players also give you the opportunity to fight other opponents in different towns. You can also build and add to your deck. Oh, cool. I unlocked Yu-Gi-Oh. Learn how to play. Yes. Queen's Blood. Copyright. Oh, this is definitely copyright. Each player takes turns playing cards on the board, okay? First try placing a card on one of the highlighted. Oh, definitely, okay. Put you there. Oh, he's up. Yeah, I want to put him there. Opponent's turn. Once the card is placed, the power is added to your total land. New positions will be available in the board, which tiles on the yellow the top tier corner of the card position the cards above the blah 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 we'll figure it out as we go are you gonna go there next place a card in the yellow areas overlap the tiles okay oh okay one of your cards position tiles overlaps with the position you control versus the rank Okay. Can now have a two rank position. Try placing a rank two. Huh. World domination, bitch. Cards position overlaps one of your opponents. You claim that position is yours. Note, however, claiming this position will not raise the rank. That's kind of dumb. Ah. Track of who is winning by uh, Lane. By Lane has points in the. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> place you there. Oh, magic pot. Put you there. What you gonna do now? Hmm. Yeah, that didn't raise my eyes. Oh. Oh, 
Oh, I can't place. Can't place on top of them. Can't place. Oh, I can't place anymore, so I gotta pass. Once again, over each player's score is tolerated. Only the player with the higher score will the win. They're in the lane. So I won that one. I won that one. They win that one. So, that concludes the Queen's Blood tutorial. Yeah, yeah, I won. Try telling him here the players in the game. Oh, cool. Hello, anybody home? No. Nope. Of course. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through Sector 0, 1, and 2. All right, so that's just on repeat. Good morning, sir. Morning. I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. Don't waste it, though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice? Hmm. Okay. Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Good idea. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. Cool. That's how they get you, though. That was free. Finally. Rough day yesterday, huh? You've been waiting for me? I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. <laughs> Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. Was not that... pretty girl. Even so, I owe you a debt until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. <laughs> Yay! Red X. Hi, pretty lady. Oh, uh, Part if you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. Hmm. The rook's got a backbone. <laughs> We're talented to help people in need and explore the world will depend your oh, deepen your party bond, therefore increasing your party level. Uh, more skills and ability, blah blah blah. Okay. Cool. Oh, I need a chocobo. Oh, God, I can't see. Because the more tears I shed, the better I get. 
get a queen's blood. <laughs> Please play around with me. Um, okay. <laughs> Really, I ain't got a bubble in my time. Can't play it. Okay. Oh, wait. No. Oh. All right, now cry your tears out, my friend. Oh, I took that back. I think I lost. Yep. <laughs> oh, okay, you won that one.
Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. So we tied on one. All right, still one. Hmm. Oh God! I well. But uh, I feel a lot better after having a good cry. There's nothing like a game of Queen's Blood to relieve some stress. Speaking <laughs> of, you look like you've got a lot weighing you down too. It's written all over your face. Trust me, crying does wonders. You really ought to try it. That dude, I'll do that. <laughs> Oh, he was two, too. Okay. I think she's up top. A little birdie told me you can't get enough of that card game, Queen's Blood. Yeah, it's true. Oh, looky here. I'd say we got ourselves a contender. So how about it, pretty boy? You want to throw down? But oh, first, God. Let me introduce you to Nene, Master Ventriloquist. Now, she ain't much of a talker, but give her a deck of cards, and she'll wipe the floor with you so fast, it'll make your head spin. Ready to get your ass handed to you, little are ya? Oh my god. That little kid. Alright, okay, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Hey. There we go. Had myself such a busy because I was not playing. Yeah, I thought you were bit. It said to busy. Yeah. Oh yeah, Star Wars Battlefront Classics Collection, March fourteenth. Oh buddy, I'm so excited to play it again. It looks good. The remaster looks really good. I think Curtis will probably pick it up. Oh yeah. I'm not I mean, sure. It still, it still looks like a PS2 game. Don't get me wrong, but it's like smoothed out. Mm -hmm. Like the some of the like models are smoother now, and like it looks like there's some better lighting maybe. I'm really excited to play that again. Well, I want to check is they also released a, uh, Star Wars Dark Forces today, which I played on PC ages ago. Man, it's I basically can't do like it's just oh. Doom, but Star Wars. Oh, cool. 
Oh, I want 40 bucks? That's a little too much. Oh, apparently... The, um... Rumored Star Wars game from Respawn, which was supposed to be a Mandalorian game... Uh, even though it was just rumored... Uh, got cancelled. Yeah, uh, like yeah. yesterday or two days ago. Ah, there we go. I'm just gonna... Hmm. What if there's a physical version of this? Alright. I beat her ass in two rounds at one. Or two what rows. Are you oh, you're playing, um, uh, Queen's Queen? Blood? Yeah. Yeah, there's one person that gave me a hard time, but I came back later and beat her. Oh, who was that? Uh, the level three person. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. I just started playing it, so, um, I, I, I just beat up, uh, finished fighting, uh, Nani, or Nana. She's the little girl with, like, the, with the, trying to, um, with the dummy. Yeah. Yeah, there's three people in town, and when you beat one, the, their difficulty goes up. Oh, that's what... Their difficulty goes up. Okay, I was wondering why there's a two. So I got the one who's, like, she's, like, surrounded by boxes. And she's whooping my ass, so I came back later. You can beat her now. Um, if you buy... If you go to the store, there's, like, two card packs you can buy. If you buy those and edit your deck the right way, you could potentially beat her, but I still struggled even doing that, because I didn't really know what I was doing when I was making a deck. So, um, I left it, and then I came back later, I got a quest. Um, you can eventually go back to Calm. Okay. Not too far in, like, you, you leave Calm and you're stuck out for a while, you do a couple things, you're able to go back. Um, once you're able to go back, you could do some missions there, and there's someone there who... Um, it's the bartender, and he's like, yeah, I lost my favorite card in a game of fucking Queen's Blood. Can you get it back for me? So that quest line leads you to a card shop. Um, Ooh. yeah, where you can buy two legendary cards, and I bought those, and they helped me beat that woman back at, in Calm, and finish the quest. So, like, you have, the shopkeeper has the card, you have to win it from him. Uh, so I bought the two legendaries from him, put them in my deck, and then beat him with them. Okay, yeah, now I see what you mean. Like, yeah, the other two I just fought, Ned and Nini, or Nina, Nani, or whatever the hell you want to say it. The N-E-N-E. -N -N -E. Uh, yeah, they're now, like, three. Yeah, they went up. Yeah. Hmm. I, like... After fighting, like, after fighting Ned, I was like, I put the card he gave me into it, into my deck, and I kind of, like, you understand, because, like, the one card takes, like, three nodes to put out, so I yep. swapped it for, like, a, uh, car, like, his card, which is only needs a one node, and what I was, like, start, like, just playing the two games, what I kind of noticed is, like, uh, because when I first fought Ned, he kicked my ass. And I was like, okay, like, the faster you, like... If you have cards that have a lot of points, but take very little nodes, that's what you want. Because you want to get it, get them out faster so you fill out that lane. So it's on your, like, you have more cards on that lane versus your opponent. And I was like, okay. Yeah, yes and no. I mean, sometimes it's better to build up uh -huh. to a spot up. so that your node numbers increase so that yeah. you can put down higher so level cards. Doing? Yeah. So, like, for example, uh, what if I can view my card deck? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you, but if you're free afterwards, climb the clock tower together? Like, there's a few you have in your deck that I didn't find too impressive. Like, there's one called Junk Sweeper. Sure. Let's. I think. For real? No, awesome. Junk Sweeper's okay. I took out the ma- uh, what was it, the I'll magic the thing, what the hell it was called. You in front of the tower, okay? It's like a three node. 
Uh, He's action. actually really good. Your whole deck, your whole starter deck, like revolves around putting him out and boosting your your board. Basically, that's your current strat yeah. for that deck. Okay. Yeah, I took him out so I could put in the one from Ned. I want to be your comrade's feelings. Oh, okay. Uh, L1. Oh, they all are kind of neutral. This is a fucking bookshop? Hey there. Welcome I feel like I just walked into a freaking magic parlor. I take it this is your first visit to one of our stores. Well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes <sighs> time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Well, I've kitted my ship try. out now with two sets of uh, the freaking cannons from uh, Skolok. Card deck, here we go, yeah, so... Spent SP... You can, you can probably make most of what I have here, minus the legendary ones, because you can buy uh, from the shops there the, like... Uh, court. The cursor the relic. Yeah. Which one did you get from Ned? I got it, it looked like a like a jumping crab. I can't remember the name of it right now. Oh, crystalline crab. Yeah, he's okay. I have I have, I have two of him in my deck actually. Yeah, because he's good because he gives us an attack bo uh, boost to yeah. whoever's above him. And Glad he allows you to in the lane, which is good. Okay, uh, SP. Oh, I don't. No, I don't want to. I wanted to see the other fucking one. Eh, whatever. We'll do a firework attack. Sindri was this. And that's Creation. about all we can do for now. But we haven't even skimmed the surface. Believe you me. There's much more to this than meets the eye. Huh. It may not seem like it yet, but you'll see. Yeah, I was cooking up, uh, I think it was 300 um, gold rum, and it took four hours. Nice. Yeah, so it was about 10 o'clock when they finished, and I put it on. It took about five, actually. It's like four and a half. So I, I, I started at five and then checked it at 10. And yeah, I had over a thousand and eighty-nine gold rum, so I was able to buy another set of guns. Ranged blade. Oh, okay. Thanks for stopping by. <sighs> What's this one? Armed and dangerous. Uh, how do I get to the shop? Crony didn't buy skull and bones. Apparently, after buying a year plus, broke his bank. Oh. Welcome. Damn, that is quite the weapon you got there, Mister. Seen plenty of action by the look of it, but saying that, it's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby will sing. If you like, I could show you. Just your upgrade weapon. Okay, raising your blah blah blah. Change your character weapon does not reset this level. Sure, tell me this is your upgrade weapon. Okay, node. Increase my weapon damage or see 
what I tell you. That girl is singing, and she's got the voice of an angel. Just make sure you take proper care of her, all right? Oh, and while you're here, check out what we got to offer. New weapons and fun. Okay, cool. Uh, what was it? The dog wanted me to ch get him to check out some stuff. Varian, I uploaded the um, the first episode, like the first stream I did, and got three copyrights. Because <laughs> of the freaking music. Because of the music. And I was like, great. Hey. Um, increases one's power. Yeah, what? I'll buy that for him. You take care of that weapon now. Your weapon comes with its own abilities and some of these and yeah, okay. Uh, equipment. Yeah, red X wanted. Hey, good boy, I got you an amulet. I don't know if that actually matters. Shall we? How many? Jesus Christ, how many flights of stairs are in this place? Away. Should be, yeah. Funny, isn't it? Did you work today? How small it looks. No, I was off. I played Final Fantasy it pretty much all day. <laughs> yeah, when I woke up, I saw you were playing so, it. Did something happen between you and Tifa? I mainly, so ran, I mainly was out all freaking day running around. I didn't like finishing like the one anime I was watching, so I didn't play it as much. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. Yeah, wouldn't it have been better to be like, stay calm, civilians. Go inside. No, just airdrop on them, scare the crap out of everybody. They're looking for us, aren't they? Gotta be. <laughs> Induce mass panic. Oh, 
Oh, that's neat. What level are you now? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stand by. Yep. I am there is twenty-one. We need to oh, nice. I played for about ten hours ish. I was beating my nap. <laughs> no violence, please. This town suffered enough. I, I only got like ten hours. Yeah, I only got like two hours into, into the game. Come on. I mean, that like, to the open world and just. Stuff starting opening up, like here's things to do, and here's things to do. So just like going around every little bit of the map and clearing off all the stuff that's available. Hmm. Not here. Well, we know we'll take the back Hey, you. Seen anyone acting suspicious? Man, the bartender reminds me of the guy from Resident Evil 4. Bombings in Midgar. That was you, wasn't it? It's okay. I'm on your side. Got a contact at HQ. You're with Avalanche? Not exactly. Stop. I'll keep the troopers occupied. While we're talking, you two go up and over. Ah, uh, yes, sir. So I'm glad people built like these pathways up here. Should wait for Aerith. There she is. Transmuter. Oh. <laughs> Converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. Ooh, a transmuter, you say. Use out of it than me. Ten six. Why are you doing this? You could have just turned us in. This town and I have a history with Shinra. Oh, 
Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going. Alright, for the add on transmitting spray main menu, you convert to raw materials into practical items. Oh, cool. Potions, antidote, and violet smelling salts. I thought that said smiling salt. I was like, damn. Tutorial. Okay. Item transmute. Tell me what I need. First time you're gonna XP. Oh, first time you're gonna XP. Okay, cool. Easy, simple. Now you're gonna get outrageously weird uh, later in the game. <laughs> now, let's move. Man, let's fucking take off. Bring up the rear and ensure the others make it out safe. Where to now? Where there's a draft. This way. Looks like a job for me. I don't mind if I do another nice weird ass chest in the middle underground. Yeah, I picked up the uh, the Joker from GameStop when I was up by Walmart earlier. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, got him sitting beside all the links. Oh, I got a. I didn't realize I got a hold of a damn button. Oh, wow, God, that's I thought it sucked. Glad it sucked. Fucking giant birds turn me into frogs. Oh, Jesus. And I don't have anything that can heal it right now. I don't have Maiden's Kiss, and I don't have Asuna to spell, and I don't have fucking anything that resists Toad. <laughs> you just need a. You just need to find somebody who's in, who's in love with you to give you a kiss. Well, yeah, that's what the item's called, right? Maiden's kiss. Yeah. You just need a kiss from a girl. From a girl. Look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. Guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm. For starters, how do we cross these plains? Chocobo. Oh, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. Left, go left, go left, right. I guess we won't be coming back anytime soon. Guess not. Let's go. Hmm. <sighs> I 
And there it was, the first step on our new journey. You coming? Yeah. Of course we are. For new journeys. Right. Even though some, uh, even though Buddy already took a, Follow me. the first steps. Get your battle party from combat settings, okay? Up to three preset parties. Touchpad to open the map, okay. Uh, press the marker, automatic. Sweet. All right, what's my party consist of right now? Red, red, the Dean Aerith. Yep. Alright, 13. Um, can I swap your ass out? Oh, yeah, there it is. Ed edit party. Boop it here for you and boop you. Where would I put him in Chances there? Chances you already had a party loadout set up with someone else in it. Get three. Oh yeah, Thanks. yeah. Number three was the one I was wanting to do. There we go. But yeah, there we go. Swap those around. <laughs> head, chest, head. Um. Yeah, the crystalline crap. That was the one I saw about. That you get from uh, from Ned. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I, I popped in my deck. It's cool you can have like 16. Yeah, ma uh, magic pause. That's what I took out. What did, um, what the Cactor do again? Ra oh, raise the power of ally on infected tiles by three while well, this card. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what he does. You only play, play as, use him in the tutorial. I totally forgot what he did. Pick a direction and go. I'm going this way. I'll take Barrett's advice and just walk, start going in a random direction. And that led me to a cliff. Not so good advice. No, 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 it's not. <laughs> um, why won't you? There we go. Wow, we fucked that ogre the hell up. Really? 
Like, I, I know they're, tr they're trying to keep the game, but it does kind of suck that they didn't go, like, Star Ocean kind of way where all your party fights. Secret, secret, no secret, just a fucking rock wall. Crap, this place is huge. I'm looking at the world map. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I guarantee there's a trophy to explore it all. Cloud, it's not that big of a drop. You don't have to be a bitch. Oh, train actually, there we go. I was like, why is it going down? It's like, I have to push the buttons. Oh, right. Um, I went to Fresco earlier and bought the, uh, the lime bag. That's what I got. I'm ready to open them pretty soon. Yeah, I still have the other one to munch on. I which... eat them all. <laughs> yeah, and you're... That's pretty much all I ate today. <laughs> I was going to say, you're like, 10 hours sitting does not surprise me. Nope. I, ha I got up, had eggs and toast for breakfast, and then ate nothing but those. For the rest <laughs> well, of the day. <laughs> Your stomach is not going to like you later. Nah, nah, dude, my ass. Yeah, your ass gonna hate you even more. I, I'm sure to <laughs> Oh, you already did. Oh, uh -huh. yeah, I was hurting. Oh, your fucking ass on fire. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, pretty girl. I was struggling. Uh, I bet. I was okay this morning, like I, I, like I went to the bathroom and it was just like, I thought my ass would be on fire too, but none of, wasn't as bad as I thought. I think probably because I was eating like the pepperonis last night too, so it's probably like helping take away a lot of the heat. Maybe. Hmm. Oh, all right. Meow. <laughs> and like before, I'm gonna stick with just the bus, the Buster Sword. You should switch when you get a new one just to learn the whatever skill that comes with it. Yeah. All you have to do is use the skill a bunch of times, you'll learn it. Oh, found a watermill. Oh, you're supposed to supply hidden among abandoned facility settlements. Oh, going to check, okay. You don't need to tell me game to loot. I don't know where this shit would be, but I will find it. Um.
How the fuck do I get out of here? Oh, there we go. What do you mean you couldn't find anything? Hmm. Wait, what? Oh, to jump down. Oh, I see one. Ah, there's the other one. Feel the burn. <laughs> oh. I like it. No, you can't have any. <laughs> Kitty, no. No, get away from the bag. What the hell is this? Oh. Quite the transmit item can be obtained while exploring the world. Okay, that's how you find. Oh, yeah, so there's little icons popping up from them. Good to know. You should definitely craft at least one of everything. Yeah, um, to get the to get, uh, XP. Eat it. Yeah, even like like consumables. You haven't crafted one before. Just craft it. Get the XP. Mm -hmm. Yeah, until you level them up so you can craft more shit. You want to get your crafting to level five as soon as you can because there's a quest you need to get it there for. You. Okay. There's a rare item required to make the level 5 item you need, but you'll get it as part of like the quest you're going to get from uh, someone soon. I actually just fought that thing that gives you the rare item. It was a pretty tough fight. Yeah, I'm like just running around the area right now, like looking for stuff to like pick up. Yep, it's a good idea. You should definitely uh, check out any like buildings and stuff. Oh yeah, I just came across like two windmills now. Yeah, when you get to areas that are like points of interest, it'll sometimes be named area, and it'll be like chests to find. It'll be, like chests like one of two. Yeah. That kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, uh, just uh. The first area I found 
was like that. Uh, their little rat lemur thingies uh, can't kill them. Yeah, I got the prompt. It was like, find the chest in like these areas while exploring. So that's why it's like, you don't have to tell me game to loot. I just know, next to the peaceful music, there's going to be a massive copyright. And there's no streamer mode option either, which sucks. Yeah, your only option is just like turn the music off. Yep. And I don't want to do that, I want to like hear it. And, like, I don't really make money off of YouTube anyway, so it's like it doesn't really matter, bother me. It's so bizarre to me that after all these years, I haven't found a way to like make that work. Like, the thing too is, is even if you have like streamer mode turned on, and in like certain games, like it will sometimes it won't even like matter. I will like register the streamer mode music, which is supposed to be non copyright. It'll like register that it's a copyright. Invoke summonings. Okay. Let's finish this. Oh, I have to wait for the bar to fill up. Oh, okay, so everybody gets XP, so even if they're not in the fight. Or not in the part of the team. Okay, that's good. I just leveled up. Um, Thorn. Oh, I found a card shop. The door's locked. I can't go in. Ah, oh, I think this is the car shop you were talking about earlier. Lovely, clean, blue water. All right, Cloud, jump. It's a long way down. <laughs> Don't forget to pucker your butt. Now jump. Cool that you can see, like, when you are leaving the, uh, the first town, you can see the airships flying around it. Yeah. They don't just, they don't just, like, disappear, which is neat. Is that what I think it is?
uh, resting at chocobo shops. Shops built in the days. Uh -huh. If you use a cushion, you'll sit down for a rest and fully replenish HP MP. <laughs> he actually pulls out a cushion in the, in the video. That's hilarious. Uh, I have five cushions. Well, I don't need them to use them right now. Oh, I'll, well, fine. I'll use a fucking cushion then, game. Oh, did you claim your DLC bonuses? No. You get it now. From the system menu and then DLC bonus. Get them. Oh, there are. Cause I had 15 of those, and I think I got some from that. Oh. Yeah, my Leviathan. And my Moogle trip. The only two I have. I made a save on the thing just so I could... Get the other stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I forgot to actually do that. To download the uh, PS5 version to play that. But because I played Remake and I had to save that, that's how I, got, I was able to get the Leviathan at least. So I got like one of the two. Yeah, Leviathan for playing that, Rama from playing Intermission. And a Moogle charm plus a little pack of goodies come if you've played the demo. Yeah, I never played the demo. So, I wonder if, like... And uh, there should have been a pre-order bangle when you get to. Um... No, I don't know if you got it, because that was a physical bonus I got. <sighs> oh, okay, yeah, the only thing I got for pre-ordering the game was the uh, the Moogle. The, uh, the Moogle tri Trio. <sighs> yeah, some of the gr a group of Moogles that turn any battle into a Kupo inviting experience. Okay, then. Are they gonna make me a Keyblade? Say again? I said, are they gonna make me a Keyblade? That'd be cool. <laughs> Funny thing is, out of like that first game, I always missed one fucking part uh, to like making like the keyblade that they can make. Like, I think it's like the Ultima. I remember doing that in fucking Kingdom Hearts. I always needed like a couple pieces of aura calcum I missed somewhere. Yeah. Like it was always one item I was always missing. Like at one point it was like the very last item which is like apparently very ultra rare. And then and that was one playthrough. I think it was like my first playthrough. And then my like second or third playthrough I was able to collect it. But I was missing some like other ingredient and I was like god damn it. Oh man, there's yeah in um in number two there's a a checklist of because there's only enough ore calcum in the game to make the sword. I think it's yeah. thirteen or fourteen. So you oh. have to make sure you do everything. And I think one of the things you do is clear the tournament. That probably where our admission because I think you got to be like Sethroth, isn't? In the first no. one? No, you don't. Oh? No. I always had fun doing the turn of the Coliseum. Uh, like, that was always my... We worried about those things? We're fine. Honestly, How fighting Sephiroth so in Kingdom Hearts because is harder than fighting that. Sephiroth in Final Fantasy. Mm-hmm. You fight him solo. We fight him, you fight him with Cloud is once as part of the story. What does it matter? Yeah. In number it one. They just goose. 
Then when you beat number one, or you get close to the end, you can fight him alone in the tournament. And then you fight him again in number two. At first, Cloud's with you, but then I think he KOs Cloud and it's just you and you and Sephiroth, I think, if I remember correctly. In like a little, it's in like the battleground area. Yeah, I think and like I... the fight arena is pretty small, and he moves pretty fast. His blade covers a lot, of, a lot of space. Right, you have the perfect I... parry him, or you're dead, pretty much. Yep. I think in Kingdom Hearts One, I was only ever able to beat him once, and it was just by sheer goddamn luck. Actually, I think the same with two. I only ever actually beat him once. Huh, they're afraid of a couple of deer. I just came across like a farm and they're like, Tifa saw like two deer run away and she's like, should we be worried? It's like, yes, be afraid. Be very afraid of the deer. Oh, I think I made it to where I had to have to come. I'm at a farm. Hello, little girl that doesn't look like she's been ripped from the Sims. Can I? Aww. Oh. Damn it. They played the Witcher. I can't murder the cows. Oh, yeah, okay, this is my destination. But I want to explore. Oh, what the hell is this? It's important to make sure they've got plenty to eat. Need to be nice and plump so they fetch a high price. The hell is this thing? Ah, uh, what? Customize folios? Yeah, basically think of it as like your the sphere grid from FF10. Oh. Twelve. To expend SP to like learn new abilities and upgrade your stats and shit. Fully yeah, I... refundable, so if you don't like a choice, you just go take it back. Okay. Yeah, I just came across the vending machine, so I was like, "What the hell is this thing?" It works the same as the bookstore. Um, the bookstore is the, it's the same thing. Yeah, I, I did the bookstore one. But I didn't know there was like a vending machine thing for it. Unless a win magic attack without expanding XP or MP. Punisher mode, okay. Oh, we get. Wait, Ooh, we get bigger. Um, I'm guessing it branches off to take up, like, the whole area? Yeah, once your party level goes up, it goes up. Okay. Yeah, it requires party level 2. Hmm. Magic attack without you expanding MP. Yeah, it I'm still gonna... takes an ATB gauge though to use those. Mm -hmm. But it's nice because you can hit an enemy weakness even if you don't have that materia equipped on that character. I'll do the wind speed out all that way. Um. Oh, I gotta do that with every character. Yeah. 
Uh, can't just auto it. Um, hmm. Oh, the leaping strikes looks nice. Oh, this. Oh, they're definitely going to the cyclone for Tifa. To increase damage dealt by unique abilities. Unleash magic attack. You know, yeah, unleash magic attack for her. And you while you move about the field. Huh. Oh, that's ability with her and Tifa. Fucking why not? Cinder and skill ability by five. Yeah, wind magic. Focuses. Creates overcharge, yeah. Overcharge damage. Jesus Christ. I have four more points of world intel to get before I've completed the grasslands. Oh, it actually tells you the points of interest? Um, not exactly. You have to continue this a little bit further. You're going to get to a point where, like, you get to a swamp and you can't cross. Okay. And you'll get, you'll meet Chadley again. I don't remember from the first one. He's the guy who... You collect battle data for, and he, get, he gives you materia in exchange. Yep, I remember him. So he's back in this one, but now he, he has you collect world intel. So you unlock those towers, which you've probably already walked past one or two by now. Big metal towers. You'll uh, you'll unlock those, and then you'll also um, he'll give you the other points of interest. Like, over oh, here is a tough enemy. Please go fight it and collect his info, or, um, you know... Things of that nature. Mm -hmm. Like, can't remember what else there is. Uh, yeah, about uh, life springs, or just, you just go in, like, you interact with like, this crystal. Folks. And it gives you de details about the land. Yeah, the towers, the. There's uh, divine intel, which I won't tell you what those are. Those are kind of cool. Sweet. Uh, there's a mission called Bandit Chase. That was, like, a four part mission. Yeah, so just go around and do everything and unlock stuff. There's like dig sites too, excavations you can do. Fuck, wow, sounds like there's a lot of stuff you can do in the game. Yeah, I mean there's a ton of points just in this map alone, like Yeah. There are there are fifteen combat assignments. Six towers, three summon crystals. Six life springs and four proto relic locations, which are just like that's the ongoing quest. So yeah, there's a lot. <laughs> there's a hell of a lot. I only need one combat assignment, one summon crystal, one life spring, and they're across the, the swamp that I couldn't cross before with our chocobo. I was just hesitating going over because there's this side of the map that's had so much to do oh and there's like five or six uh like green quests you can pick up from various people around too some back in calm some are in like a farm oh. yeah i'm at the farm right now i like came across it while just exploring same with the um the card build the trade building outside too it, was it locked for you when you got there? Because it was for me. Yeah, it was. 
Yeah, you can't go in until you do the quest. I'm just like, like walking around exploring, picking up anything I see with the icon above it. Yeah, it's good. Well, you... what I explore? I want to go everywhere. <laughs> I wonder if there's uh, an option to turn on like auto terrain. Like when you're running or walking around? Yeah, just sprint. Yeah, like, uh, because I keep, like, yeah, I keep sprinting a lot, but I keep forgetting about the freaking, uh, like, terrain button half the time. You don't need it if you're sprinting, you just jumps automatically. Okay. Constantly running, get that cardio. Come on, cat, Cloud, jump off the cliff. He'll load down, but he won't jump. It's not that far. Maybe like a 15-foot drop. There is a, um, there is a thing you can turn on where it's like an icon that will show you when you can interact with the surface. Oh, okay. Rather than just trying to guess at it. You just can't be sprinting to see it. But yeah, any surface you get to, if you can interact with it, it will tell you. Yeah, I see like the command menu. It'll say like, at the bottom there. Well, this is, this is more for like, um, yeah, I guess it, I didn't think about that. More like visually impaired? Yeah, oh. this this appears at your feet. Oh, like a, like okay. a white icon will appear at your feet. Like a, yeah, a direction oh. arrow. Oh, so you okay. can hop over something or up something. Um, the cursor position. No. Oh, terrain action guard. There we go. Tile display. Okay. Turn that on. Motion sensor fluctuation. Wait, you can use the motion with the what the? I'm assuming there's probably mini games later that involve it. Yeah. Yeah, the the controller. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, I'm just, like I said, I'm assuming there's meaning. I haven't seen anything yet. Oh yeah, okay. I see. Yeah, the white line now. It's appearing where I can climb up it. It's good for some cliff sides because like you wouldn't think you can go down some of them, but you can. As long as there's like something to catch you underneath. So I found it helpful for just like going down awkward looking cliffs. Yeah, like, is there, like, when I got out here earlier, I couldn't, like, I was wondering, what, like, why Ka uh, Cloud wasn't, like, jumping down. And then that's when I realized, like, oh, yeah, I keep, I'm not hitting the terrain button. Yeah, or it's too high, you'll fucking die. Yeah. There you go, yeah, that helps a lot, because now, like, I'm not looking down at the corner of the screen. To like see, oh, can I like jump down this? Um, well, now why did I don't know why the hell, like, when you get to a certain area, when you see that like blue beam, like, or green beam, like, appear in front of you. I have no idea like what the hell the purpose of that is. Is I'm at the I'm windmill. Sure I know. Uh, yes, yeah, I'm at a windmill sediment right now. It was the same when I got to like the farm, like to the quest guy. There was like a little like blue beam trail, like a little like flutter that I appeared in front of me, <laughs> went a little bit ahead of me, and then disappeared. Oh uh, yeah, I think it's just suggesting a direction. Gotcha. 
Oh, who are you? Hmm. If only there was some way to get it moving again. Something else you can do, and I recommend it, or checking it out, is you can change the compass at the top to a mini map instead. Oh, that'll probably be a lot better. Let's see, gameplay, uh, location, navigation, display. No. Oh, world navigation. There we go. Tracker, mini map. Oops. Oh, yeah, I definitely like that. I like the mini map. Yeah, me too. Cause I mean, all your points are on there anyway, and their distance are, is attached. So, yeah, I'm okay with seeing just like the terrain around me. Is that's fine. I'm okay with it. And it's better for towns too, I think. I'm trying to find my way around the town. It's like, okay, cool. I'll just run the general direction of what I'm trying to get to. Mm -hmm. like when I had to try to find the weapon shop, I was like looking at the, like, the icon up top, and I'm like, where the hell am I going? Try to actually go to the map and find, finger, figure out how to get to it. Yeah, there it goes again. Oh, I think it just leads you to a point of interest or like a mission. It's what the whole thing is. Because I left the settlement and then turned around and it like pointed me back to it. <laughs> no chest to get, no chest to get. Can I make anything? Make an antidote, fuck yeah. Make the echo potion. Ah, oh, they just disappear. Some enemies will essentially blind you. Hard member, okay. Swap yeah. character. Oh, that's cool. The one fight I just did, Red, uh, Red was like running around the perimeter. Yeah, they all do. There's like, there's like a, they call it backline. You can actually issue commands to them back there. To, I just don't know how to do it, I forget. Hmm. 
I did it by accident in one of my fights. I better uh, keep an eye on that. God, heal yourself. We're not in the world of auto healing after battles. I have to remember that. No, I think I found one of those metal towers you were talking about. Nice. I don't think I can do anything with the tower. Not yet. Yeah, no. I can climb it. <laughs> but soon. Soon, young one. Young one. <laughs> yeah, you have to meet Chadley first. Oh. They're so good, but so high, I can't stop eating. Hope the lime ones taste good. Mm hmm. Because, like, the lime Takis are just okay. I do like the lime dynamite uh, Doritos dynamites though. They're really good. Everybody up. Ooh, I got a beast man on Ben. What's that? Definitely an accessory, but it ain't good. Mm hmm. Holds two. This is perfect because I don't think Barrett has a two yet. No, he does not. Uh, hello, buddies. Nah, let me kill you. Why can't I kill the wildlife? What the hell are those? I don't know what they are, but I'm gonna fight them. Wait, oh, use assist. Yes, Thanks, game, for letting me know about that. Deal with that. Tagging out. Taking over. Get him. 
against fire, okay. Ella don't. Ah, oh, fucking nose is running now because of that. <laughs> but they're so good. I like how the fucking Havoc brand chips, they have like a hotness meter on them and they're all the same hotness. None of them are any different. Look, oh, the nacho will be the lowest one, the lime will be the highest one, and the bulgogi ones will be somewhere middle. No, they're all the same. <laughs> Where they get you. Yep. They're not hot, we promise. Oh, had a finger crossed. Liars. <laughs> Man, I really want to pick up fucking Dark Horses now, but 40 bucks though. It's a little bit too much. Mm -hmm. It's a good game, and when I mean it's an old PC game, I mean it's fucking old. I had it on like a fucking Windows 95 computer, dude. Never played it actually. Never. The only played Star Wars like back in the day. I played with Kotar. That's a good one too. Yeah, it's it's basically like Doom but Star Wars. Hmm. If I can compare it to something like or Quake, like those old school shooters. Yeah. Yeah. I old good one. though. Yeah, it had like cuts like fully voiceover cutscenes and stuff, which they've all redone well, for the well. remaster. If it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers. Oh, they put work into it. it looks Thanks really good. Right uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two Definitely nicer on the news. eyes. Hmm. I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Oh, I found Bill. Except today, that is. Pray the old butte's pulled up lame. Sorry about that. No biggie. We're enjoying the fresh air. Thanks, though. You, uh... Know someplace we can hunker down? Hmm. Hunker down, you say? Oh. <laughs> I'd almost forgotten what it was like to be young and in love. <laughs> just head straight that away toward the swamplands. You'll find an abandoned building by the dock. I guarantee no one will bother you there. Thanks, Bill. She got black on. Man, every time I hear like the guy who voices Bill, I forget his name, like the actual actor. Abandoned Dock, level 16. Oh, that's my mission. Afraid it makes me want to go play Crackdown. Yeah, I've never really played those games. 
I didn't really get into the first one, but I played and beat the second and third game. But the um, it's the the guy he um, who did the voice for Bill did the uh, the voice of like the commander, who was like the the leader of like the crackdown team. So you hear him like give you or issue orders and everything. It's actually a lot of fun. I know a lot of people didn't really like the second one. I, I thought it was the third one everyone hated. No, yeah. But, like, a lot of people think, like, it basically goes, like, the first is the best, second one's okay, but not as great, and then the third one is just trash. That's what I heard, yeah. All right. It's like Fable. Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. Though, I'll... although as everyone shits on Fable Three, I actually like it. So I never, I haven't beat it yet. I, I had flown through number two and I'd started three, but I never got around to it. I have it. I own it. I liked two because of the multiplayer. The story I was kind of meh about. Um, three, I actually kind of liked the whole, like more multiple choices in the game. But well, I like that your character has an actual personality. Yeah, you're not just like some nameless, voiceless person Orphan. anymore. Yeah. yeah. But I thought that was cool. Um, my only complaint with the game, with the third one, was um, when you wanted to like uh, do anything with like the town, you had to go to like each individual building. To like to collect the rent, to like upgrade them, you can just like mass collect. Ah. What always made me laugh was the Fable games. It's how you go from knights in armor to now clothing is your protection. I mean, that's how it was in real life, man. Yeah. Just revolution rolled around, they didn't wear armor anymore. It does suck that, like, they never brought out, like, the, um... Like the 1v4 fable that they were doing. Or the card game. The card, yeah. No, I think they got the card game out. Did they? Yeah. But it was, um, the other game they were gonna do, which was, like, supposed to be, like, Fable 4, but wasn't Fable 4, and it was, um, it's like a 1v4, where it's, like, you, one person plays as, like, the villain setting up the maze and stuff for, like booby traps and everything, and then like your friend or randoms play as like the heroes, and they have to like try to make it to the end. Um. Yeah, Fable Fortune. That was what the uh, card game was called. Okay. Yeah, it came out in 2018. Um, I don't think it's. It's, oh yeah, it stopped in 2020. Support uh, for the, yeah, and then I forget what the hell the uh... Wasn't Fable Heroes? Hmm. 
No, Fable Journey was the Kinect game. That wasn't it. Oh, yeah, it's called Fable Legends. Oh, uh, it was a cooperative action role playing video game. They had four heroes and a villain. Each role will be filled by a player via online multiplayer or by an AI. Yeah, that was it. You play multiplayer, or you play single player. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't remember that one. Yeah, I think it only ever got a. Tr yeah, it was. Uh, so th it was announced in 2013 for a teaser trailer on the Xbox One. And it was 2016 was when it was cancelled. Yeah, I think they showed it off at uh, E3 that year. Oh. It has like a neat little concept. It was kind of, it was like, like Dead by Daylight and like those types of games. Or, um, uh, what the hell is that one? Dungeons. That's it, the Dungeons game. Where, like, you set up, like, traps and everything. Or, um, shoot. The game that we played, where you play as the villain. Overlord? Not Overlord. The, um, the other one, like, you had to protect your base from, like, these oh, heroes. Oh, uh, Evil Genius too. Yes, that's it. it. It was like that. Where, like, the villain has to protect its base, so it sets up traps for the heroes. Summoning my Chocobo? Fledgling Summoner. Time for prepare. Okay, yeah. All done. Um... 
Hmm. Okay. I'm guessing there's no way to see like what summonings you have. Other yeah. than when Oh, there is. You, you equip them, right? They're on your materials. Deals damage with profit or tax, ultimate okay, deals a large amount of non elemental damage. Yeah, I'm put I'm I'm making him have the buy then. Hey, so I, like, I was able to use the summoning as the bar filled up in the one fight I was just doing. And I summoned the chocobo and I was like, what the hell? <laughs> and I've fully finished everything in the grasslands. I'm going to be 12 hours. Shit. On to the next place. I'm supposed to go to the swamp, but I'm having too much fun running around this the grassland area right now. So far, I've only found one location that like, required me to find chests in it. Should probably go explore the or go do the mission so I can kind of open more more stuff up. I definitely recommend it. Tifa, get in camera view. Ow! Uh, abilities. Let's do it right. No weaknesses. It's a mule. Then. 
can't escape from me, you mewy bastard. Wait, what the? Man, all my friends don't like me. Oh, oh, wait. Yeah. Hey, oh, I sneezed my arm. Yeah. I even sneezed on my tattoo. Ah, uh, but thank you. Fred, I had a laugh earlier um, when I got to the part where they like talked about social links, like hanging out with your friend and raising that up. <laughs> I was like, oh great, Tom just did all that in one game and has to do it again in another. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I suddenly get a lot about that. Oh, you never got back to me. Saw Matt got held divers too, so I me I messaged him I'm like, finally doing your part. He never answered after that. No, he never did. Bum. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably too busy playing. Oh yeah, definitely, most likely. Oh. The one guy on my Discord, he picked it up, uh, but I haven't seen him play it yet. Here we go. Fiery line. <laughs> Actually, looking at the packaging one more time. Well, yeah, the, the line is one stage hotter than the nacho cheese. Where's the indicator on in the bag? Bottom bottom left. Oh. It's like a little meter of the thing on it. So there's a, they're orange. Fire. Yeah, I see that. And these are red fire, and I don't remember what the other ones were. I don't know. Yeah, these are like in the red too. Is there? Yeah, I see green, orange, like red, and then like very red. Purple. Oh, the purple. Oh, okay. Yeah. I use purple. I, I'm I'm literally using my like TV as a light source right now to see it. It's um, so hot, they had to invent a new hotness color. <laughs> Purple hot. Bring it. They need to see different colors. Oh god. It makes you taste sound. It makes you taste sound, yeah. <laughs> I can see through time. <laughs> the taste is good. The taste is good? Oh, that's good. Yeah, they're good. Mm. You say they taste like uh, the Dorito Dynamites? Better. Better? Oh, okay. Cool, and they're really sour. Like, definitely got more of a lime taste than this one. Oh, okay, yeah. So, like, your your mouth is puckering up. That's literally what just, what just happened when I did that. Yeah, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they're not that hot, though. I mean, I've been eating those other spice ones all day, so maybe I'm just used to it. Yeah. Oh, where the hell is this? Right, that or I got another round of COVID and I don't know about it. <laughs> well, see me. 
Oh, I can feel the heat like in the back of my mouth. It's like you're the bird. <sighs> it's not what the heat's what it's gonna get you. It's the sour of the lime. Yeah. Oh. Do I have to do that scan on all the enemies? If you want to know what the weak is, yeah. No, like the same, like same enemy twice. I mean. Oh no! I mean, I don't think once you've scanned enemy, I don't think there's another way to check if that I start the scan again. But like, you can just remember. Um, I did see there was, um... Uh, uh, what the Enemy intel. Oh, what the... Yeah. Yeah. But not in battle, though. No, no, uh, I don't think there's just a way in battle. Other than, yeah, rescanning them again. Or remembering. Oh, I think this is the way to the Chocobo Ranch. That's where you should definitely be going. I literally, yeah, I just found the sign, so I was like, screw the swamp mission, I'm going to the Chocobo Ranch. Line up, Orkies, I'm gonna murder both of you. Oh, that Orc is dead. How oh, they hurt already? Heal you up. Look from button. Heal you up. Not a windmill I can't get into. Hey, Chocobo Ranch! That oddly looks like the ranch from freaking Ocarina of Time. That I can't get into. Try and jump. Jump the fence! Oh. Okay, I see what this is. One, two, three. Oh, they're the markers. Okay, so they go around the perimeter of the area. I can't go to the mm -hmm. chocobo farm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, fine. I'll go do what the game wants me to do. Melody for the uh, when you buy the ranch is actually quite nice. Oh, little bunnies! What are you? You guys don't have any weaknesses, that's right. Oh, 
Um, yeah, this way. Back to the game. Ice, okay, you guys. Yep. Who has ice? I think I do. Uh, I got your number. What are you weak in? You're weak in fire. I don't have any MP to use fire. But I do see a seat. A materia world. Level it up. Oh, I leveled up an orb of materia. What the hell did I level up? Because I wasn't paying any attention. Oh shit. What leveled up? I would tell. Who's material freaking leveled up? Oh, it was uh, Tifa's. And she's got a two star now. Oh, it's Red 13 that summons you free. Um, she can have the, the trio. Just do win. I'll do her. I'll give her a win damage up. She does ice. Increase the duration. Tap power while. Hmm. I'll give her that one. Oh yeah, I have that one where I can scan a target on him. What do they have? Healing and fire. Yeah. What the hell? Who the hell is going around tagging all these? <laughs> I'm at the rest stop and I'm like, who the hell is tagging them? It's a like Bort on one side, Hero, Gel, Seg. There we go, I got my MP back. I somehow found a cushion. So I back up to five. Nice. Oh yeah, they're weak to fire. Ah, you little boulder bastard. 
I got your number. Right there. I'd like to see how much, see what I can make. Alright, um, let's make a phoenix down. Snowy salts. Make a mix potion. Um, what level am I even right now? I think I'm four. Oh, yeah, I'm level four. I just looked at it. Three. Oh, magic goes up for everybody. Oh, defense goes up. Power goes up. I need beast pelts for those. Oh, this cre this place isn't creepy as all hell. I finally made it to the swamp. I just crossed the swamp after I cleared the rest of the map. Oh, a purple chest. A sleek saber. Hey, there's a the sword from the item shop. Yep, you just got it for free. You give yourself three thousand gil. Yeah, like every RPG. <laughs> Don't buy it, you'll find it. Uh, you said to always. How do you unlock the abilities? Just by it'll have come with an ability naturally, and then you just gotta use it a bunch, and it'll say like like ability mastered. Or whatever. Okay. So for like the Buster Sword, it's the thrust. Yeah. For this one, it's the Firebolt Slash or Firebolt Swing or something. Yeah, Firebolt Blade. That's it. Oh. Which is pretty good attack because it does fire and lightning damage. So if something's weak to it, it, it staggers them or pressures them, I should say. Yeah, it, lo it looks really cool. Yeah, it's a cool sword. Mine's got two green materia on each side and a purple one in the middle. Oh, sweet. Oh, yeah, I see that I can hold three. Oh, I'm on chapter three now. You're sure after ten hours of running around. 
<laughs> um, I wonder how you tell if you're if it's a master with that ability. It'll tell you. Um, Oh, I wonder if it's the the blue little dot over it. When I'm like looking at my combat, I think. Uh, I wonder. Yeah, so there should be a menu option called upgrade weapons. Oh, okay, yeah, I see. So I put on the new sword, and the uh, focus. The rust. Oh, because it's different. So I think how it works is if there's there's an item or a thing in your menu called upgrade weapons, and each weapon has a set number of SP that you're able to earn while using that weapon, and then you can't earn any more SP after that. You have to switch it. Uh, yeah, SP 25. Yeah, so once you've leveled up the buster enough to earn whatever the SP is, I think, then it'll... Whatever, that's, that's how I think it works. Hmm. Not quite sure. Um, Let me see here. Um, upgrading weapons. Uh, adjust your weapon skills via the upgrade menu. Raising your character's weapon levels will unlock more of these skills as well as raising as a step boost, allowing you to customize your playstyle. That doesn't help at all. No, it doesn't. <laughs> so what's the guy? You spend on um, really increase the number of contested slashes and strong attacks. Sweet new sword. Mm. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do it differently. The first game I went through the entire game playing with just the buster sword and i think this time i'll actually use other weapons might not have much of a choice when it comes to earning sp it looks like i think in the first one though you can upgrade your buster sword to have just like a straight line of like 10 materials yeah you could you, you could have like it only showed the two but like yeah you could have it holding a lot if I remember correctly, none were connected, but they were all on a big line. I think if you had, like, at least the same color, they'd connect. I can't honestly remember. I'd have to download the game and see, like, what the hell my cloud was where using. But yeah, yeah, I'm, I'll use the... Now I have to swap over my materia and put on the ability. It should swap the materia automatically. Um. Oh yeah. And then I have the third one now. Increase attack. Recharge rate when, when performing actions by 10%. Ooh. I like that, actually. And I have a third one now. But I have no free materials.
Oh, selling high potions? Yes, please. Oh, I only sold three high potions on discount for 100 bucks and then nothing else. <sighs> but I want more. I can't craft them yet. I'm at a point now where, like, regular potions don't heal enough. Yeah. <laughs> and fucking, I can't craft high potions uh, yet. I'll put that I on I can, here. I just, I don't have the materials. I need what planets favor, and I haven't found any of that shit yet. Um... See, I need... I need to unlock level 5 to, to even make high potions. I can make a whack? Actually, I probably should. Or... Should I save a siege? Oh, planet... Planet Blessings. Do I need those for anything? Oh, I got 24. I'm gonna make more potions. I'm gonna there. drive dirt. <laughs> I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. I dropped a dar jar of dirt. Yes, what's inside it? <laughs> a lovely bunch of coconuts. Yeah, I'll do that now. Try to play a little differently than I did the first game. No sign of Shinra. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Cause like, yeah, I changed everybody else's weapons up in the first game, but I kept Cloud with the Buster Sword. Head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Juno. Sure. Why not? You trust these rotting hulks? Be cool if you just put the new sword on, but make it look like the other one. That would I be like cool. Games, let you do that. Not. Yeah, they transmog so it looks like that. Yeah. This swamp is Dude, how are you gonna swim with a fucking swamp. arm, Beware. an arm gun? But even if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. We'll see oh. you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word, and he'll pick you out. A bird. <laughs> Well, can we rent some birds? Can we? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> Seriously, they made that entire thing rhyme? Oh god, I'm doing it now! <laughs> All right, now I get to go find the Chocobo Sanctuary, even though I already know where it is. Bring it. Ripping through everything with this. I like it. Also, I don't think I forgot to change his his combat strike. There we go. Yeah, no, I forgot because I noticed when changing swords, it doesn't change like the L1 triangle shortcut. It's when I, it was on the uh, the Buster Sword ability. I forgot there's even shortcuts. I I just saw it in the combat settings. I haven't even been using them to be honest. I've been just button mashing. I totally forgot that that's even a thing. <laughs> oh man. Oh. 
some more plants and blessings. So I'm guessing Bill is your like fast traveling when you can. Don't hold back. Um Yeah. Kind of. Okay. Ah. I really wish I would focus on the enemy in front of me and not the one that was a mile away. I had like an ogre right in front of me and like I click the attack button and Cloud goes running to the other ogre. That's like beside Tifa and Aerith and it's just like, uh, what about the one in front of you? Pleasure to see you all again. And welcome to Yeah, something that kinda ogre. annoys me a little bit with one of my moves is a move you have called Triple Flare. Managed to get your truck fixed? And I'll be comboing an enemy. You must have been and I'll use it, charged. and he'll slash she once on the guy right in front of him, and then teleport to someone else and hit them, Anywho, and then teleport back into the guy I was hitting. You and they don't know. I want you to jump all three attacks on the guy I was trying to murder, not oh, yeah. the one who's like, getting 90 his yards butt. across the fucking yeah, 90 yards across the freaking place. We had Republic fairies to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. The next best thing, though, chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Not really. I didn't care, but to know why they could cross. Hey, but they don't. Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float, while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing to a hard-working chocobo. Nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. Oh. Oh. No, yeah, did you ever watch the, uh, or listen to the new song, like, Country Song, I think it's from Beyonce? No. Yeah, Chris had me listen to it. And he's like, what's this, like, melody, like, from her song, like, remind you of? And do you remember the Hey, It's Franklin TV show? Yeah, Hey, It's Franklin. Yeah, so apparently, um... Well, at least according to him, I don't know about people online, but her the melody of the song sounds just like "Hey, it's Franklin." So um, he was like, he was saying like to me, he's like, "What song? What Canadian TV show did she rip off for that song?" And I was like, "I don't fucking know." And then he had me listen to it. And he's like, don't they sound the same? And I was like, kind of. But I'm like, every country song basically sing sounds the same. It's when you want Texas Hold'em, let me see. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Wow, this play. What are they doing over there? Oh, they're just trashing the place.
Hey, yeah, I can I can hear it. I can hear it. Yeah. It's like, hey, it's Franklin. Like, apparently she, uh, at least according to him, it said it's it's the same it's the same song just sped up. Howdy. It's all the sign. No, it's definitely got different notes, but it's yeah. similar. Sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But... I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is... Of course. Ten grand each. <laughs> Ten grand each! The thing is, we don't have that kind of money. Better start saving up. Man, I'm gonna fucking just walk across the goddamn problem. I'll take my chances with that. Only cost you a grand. Is what a scoundrel might say, but I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours, free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico, the hardest headed bird you'll ever meet. Bye. Oh, thank God we got Aerith. That little kid fell in love right in the middle. Spit an image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. That motherfucker called me Pa one more time. I'm gonna throw him in the damn swamp. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people, but if you play it cool and yeah, first he frees you a bird and then calls you old. No problem. Yep. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Listen to you little Speak shit, I'll eat your missing there. chocobo. You yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'll throw your fucking little ass in the fucking swamp and see what, how you deal with it. Just like chicken. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how much are those fucking things? They're, oh. Oh, the chocobo's free of charge. But if you partake in our shop to buy accessory for your chocobo, that will cover the cost. Oh, do you need riding lessons? Oh, those are part of another charge. So I might as well just fucking walk. Ooh, chest. What's in the chest? A timeless rod. Uh, I found a dildo. I mean, I found a rod. Oh my god. People, we've been here five minutes. You're already destroying the place. For fuck's sake! <laughs> like I walked past the table and everything to get the chest, and Tifa and Era just walked through everything else and destroyed the place. <laughs> well, they get—I don't have to pay for it. Um, uh, it was equipment, so I'm guessing it was for her. Yeah, a charming stick. Erase a barrier that damages and temporarily freezes enemies who attempt to strike her. Oh, so hers is the same. You'll have to use her ability from each item to master it. Yeah, I did it in. I did it in the battle simulator, which is coming up real soon for you. Okay. Sweet. Um, oh, yeah, that's why I want to quick do them. But that, I'm not really... I just like hitting R1 and seeing that they ha all have friggin' gray faces. Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose, but Aerith, he's been a you're too optimistic. About it ever since our parents left. Oh, your parents died. Say, are you guys from Midgar? Yeah. The Even though they're left. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Um, they left this mortal well, coil. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector Six slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? I was. Thinking about reaching out, 
It's his fault mom and dad are gone, so... Chloe, oh, God. That's none of these good folks' business. <laughs> they get help. This dude's the reason their parents are gone. Sam's one of the biggest. Oh, uh, Chocobo Sam. Gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh, take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, oh, no pressure? Good. On you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. Oh, what the hell is this? A ranch tax shop will have chocobo gear for sale, okay. And golden plums. Plumes. Plumes, sorry. She literally yeah. just said the name, too. <laughs> Yeah, like plumage, which is like feathers. Oh, okay. Uh, oh yeah, these are rare feathers obtained by wrangling new chocobos or repairing chocobo stops. Huh, okay. Well, what do they... What do they get me? Uh, huh. A helmet? Oh, sh a Shinra helmet for the chocobo. Yep. I got mine fully decked out in the Shinra outfit. I, I wonder if um, you well, you probably know. Can you get like like a Cerberus gear for it? I don't know. The only one available is the Shinra one right now. Yeah, I, I, was, I remember that from fourteen. Cause that's what I got my Chocobo in is the uh, the Cerberus outfit. Uh, okay, yeah, I need two. F I'm guessing I need six feathers. Yeah, two for each piece. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually pretty cool looking, to be honest. What else is? What are they selling? Oh, just selling the helmet. Oh, that's it. And they sell monster parts. Any other person uh, in the shop? Yeah, see that? For 250 gil each. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man, they're selling gingers. Mm -hmm. Those cannibals. <laughs> Not fresh gingers, though. There's no such thing. <laughs> hey, I showered today. I'm fresh. A ginger's best before date is birth. <laughs> I hope Pico doesn't give you all too much trouble. Best before conception. <laughs> <laughs> Is it bad because I'm a ginger and I'm fucking laughing to this? No, it's not bad. <laughs> it means you have a sense of humor and you're not yeah. freaking sensitive. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> I want to be like, Dad, I'm going to go cry now. It's always good to yeah. have a cry. It's only bullying if you're upset Thank about it. Yep. <laughs> okay, I'm good now. All right, let's go. F Pico, Pico. <laughs> Thomas in the chat room one time with Chris and I. I can't remember what he was talking about. He said something so stupid. I was like, I can't remember what we were talking about. Oh, Thomas, you gotta stop, or I'm gonna cyber bully you. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I forget what he said. He was so stupid. Just stop it. It's basically like about a good portion of everything he does. Like he, um, so he finally got a PS5. Oh, I thought and, he was all Xbox, man. Yeah, that's what I thought too. But apparently, since getting his credit card, um, uh, he wanted to get a PS5 to be with the PlayStation group again, which still made me laugh because when he went to Xbox, he bashed the shit out of PlayStation. And then started bashing the shit out of Xbox when he came back to PlayStation. And, um... So he sent me a photo of it, and he's like, I got... I got a new PlayStation. Or no, he's like, check out my tiny PlayStation. And I'm like, I looked at it, and it's a Slim. And I was like, yeah, you got the Slim PS5. 
He's like, I did? I'm like, yeah. He's like, it doesn't say on the box. And I'm like, it's because you have the little slit between, like, in the middle of your system. That is the slim, because now you have two separate parts instead of one big part. For our panels, that's what I said to him. He's like, that's oh, right. he's like, oh, okay. And I'm like, yeah, and you also have a thousand, uh, a terabyte uh, on your system versus the standard only had 800. Yeah, 825, I think it was, yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I'm literally, I didn't even realize I was following the tracks. Bingo. I just ran off into a direction and yeah. found him anyways. Oh, no, Downsides to the slim. If you want to put it vertically, there's no stand that comes with it. it you down. can still sit it vertically. It's hunt. still stable enough. You don't want to start but I wouldn't right. recommend it because it is still hey, kind of tall and like a good hey, bump will just knock right. it right over. Yeah. But there's a vertical stand you can buy for it for like 40 bucks. It's like a ring stand. Oh, okay, yeah, I didn't know that. Like, stabilizes it. It comes with, like, instead... Do you know how ours has, like, that weird circular kind of stand that goes underneath? Yep. To hold it? So theirs are just two, like, little <laughs> plastic pegs that make it, like, feet for the bottom. Oh, okay, yeah, I've seen those. I I've, I thought it came. They, they came with the system. I didn't realize they took those out. The pegs do. The pegs come with. Oh, okay. But, but that they changed it. Since so if I get like circular stand that we have, it's just two like two little like, legs. Like, clips. Yeah, like little clips that go on either side, and it it becomes like the stabilizers for the whole system. Uh, approach Pico without being noticed. If you're in danger of being spotted, or one of his pack mates. Wait, they only told me the one got away. Not a lot of them. Oh, thanks guys, thanks. I, I appreciate it. Y'all fucking leave me alone with this truck. So how am I? How am I supposed to get past that one? Can you capture, like, his pack mates, or...? I don't think so. I don't know, so I have to, like... Try not to get spotted. Okay. Oh, good, I got a checkpoint. So I had to make sure. Okay, so I had to wait for you to turn around. I actually failed that the first time because I thought that it only mattered if he saw you and not the other one. So I basically just like beeline straight for him and then once everyone turned around. <laughs> yeah, I just saw them all like turn around. Okay, so throwing rocks. Just throw a rock right at him. Oh. Come on. Try. Yeah, I got him. Oh my god, I'm fucking sweating doing that. But I love how they joke about, like, Cal. Uh, like, Cla I keep saying Cla Cal for some dumb reason. I hope he's my nephew. Uh, Cloud freaking. I uh, like how he's, like, trying to explain, like, how we gotta sneak up. And Eris, like, yeah, you know, we're not trying to kill him, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. Totally. 
How are you? Oh, because of the little hair up at the front. <laughs> They're like, he, he does look similar to Cloud. Maybe he's still hungry? Sorry, that's all the food we had. He's pecking the ground. But you know where there's more? Bill's place. Oh. Oh, I thought he's pecking for treasure. Back to the ranch it is then. Come on. I, my taxi ran out ran away without me. I'm surprised there wasn't a uh, trophy for doing that, like, without getting caught. Speaking of trophies, I haven't even looked at them, so I don't even know what the hell you... what the trophies are for this game. I haven't either, actually. Yeah. I basically just started playing and haven't looked back. Same. I have 21 trophies from this game already, and I'm just in, I'm on chapter fucking three. Jesus Christ! How many chapters are there? See, 14. <laughs> I have 11. Yeah, I have 11 trophies so far. Wow. Sure. Though I wouldn't try till he's done eating. Once he's had his fill, though, I'm sure he'll come around to the. All these are just obtain a proto relic on all these different regions, which is easy enough. If you kill Gamesh, that's part of the story usually. We have probably a lot of like story mission relations, like doing certain things, like getting your friends to certain ranks. I wonder if there's one for getting them to all hate you. Oh, there's a Queen's Blood tournament. I really can't oh, you no. Pico back to us. Oh, that freaking means we gotta, like, do it or play the game. Play, I gotta play cards. Uh, oh, fuck. So I think there wasn't there, like, a mini game like that in the first game. Oh, no, that was a battle tournament thing you could do. Yeah, there's a, an actual tournament that you fight in. Yeah. Yeah, and then there's also like the challenge rooms, like the the VR shit. Shit, yeah, I'm gonna get the grease first. Now, can I, oh yeah, I don't want to buy anything for you. If you ever want to change your chocobo's gear, feel free to use the stable just over there. Oh, over over where? She's just like over there, <laughs> where? Oh, this dumb thing, okay. He used it one oh, he's not ready yet. Bitch, hurry up and start and finish eating. Pico doesn't much like eating when strangers are nearby. Oh fuck. Hey there. What a pleasant surprise. Chazzy. Do remember me, don't you? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> I could say I no. <laughs> it was an absolute pleasure working with you in Midgar. Thank you again. Damn it, I should have said no. Your invaluable intel allowed me to create so much materia. Detecting internal monologue. The hell's this weirdo doing here? So <laughs> I was created by Professor Hojo, you know. Though yep. your thoughts could be read by any cyborg. But to answer your question, I took a page out of your book and skipped town. Now, the whole world's my laboratory. Speaking of which, I have a favor to ask, if it's not too much trouble. You need more battle intel. That's the cloud I know. Always eager to get on with it. But yes, Though, I'd like you to activate some Remna Wave Towers first. They were originally constructed by the Republic of Junon, but were claimed by Shinra after the war. Since which time they've sat idle and untouched, just waiting for someone to put them to good use. The more towers you activate around the world, the more my processing power will grow. 
as will the area I can survey. I might even be Hell able to construct yeah. a communications network independent of Shinra. How does that sound? You'd not only be helping me, but yourselves as well. <laughs> if find any, we'll turn them on. Wonderful. I thought you might say something like that. Let's get started then. See that tower? That's your first target. All right, fuck it. And this will activate it. As the tower is close by, allow me to accompany you. Where the hell am I holding all this shit? Here we are. I return. All right. I'm doing the towers now. And having the funny question of where the hell is Cloud putting all this gear? <laughs> He's staring on his chocobo. This is. <laughs> In the pocket dimension in his ass. Tower activation confirmed. Initiating preliminary scan of the grasslands. I'll ascertain the locations of fiends and natural resources. Oh, sweet. Also, I swear to God, nobody saw that beam go into the sky and wonder what it was from. <clears throat> After careful consideration, I have devised a new name for this type of research. I call it World Intel. Chatter will employ your data you collect to develop new material, create new combat simulations, and embark on scientific endeavors. Oh, cool. Great. We're now playing Final we're now playing Final Fantasy Far Cry. I hope you'll assist me in gathering relevant data by completing various tasks on your travels. In return, I will use the information you provide to develop new materia, quid pro quo. To summarize, I want us to become research partners. But before that, is there anything you would like to ask? Hmm. Developing materia. With each piece of world intel you collect, you will also provide me with the data I need to develop new materia. What I ultimately Sweet. produce, however, is for you to decide. I look forward to finding out what we can create together. Again. Do you happen to have any questions about World Intel and the like? Uh, yes. I'm gonna ask every These fucking question I can. These towers were built by the Republic of Junon in order to further their understanding of the planet. They scan for all manner of signals, which, in turn, reveal myriad locations of interest, mm. such as long-forgotten ruins and rare natural phenomena. Should you happen to stumble across a tower, please activate it. I must urge you to proceed with caution, though. Feral beasts often claim these installations as their territory. Do you happen to have any questions about world intel and the like? The combat the simulator. Goggles, you can do battle in a virtual arena, regardless yep. of your real world location. That's huh. the combat simulator, or my combat simulator, as Shinra developed the stationary models first. And fret not, it will never be obsolete. I'll keep it up to date with intel from unique enemy encounters. I will also endeavor huh. to implement all of the summons once I finish analyzing the myths and legends surrounding them, of course. In oh, fact, that's cool. After pouring over stories from the grasslands, I have finished implementing a new one. The tower and colossus known as Titan. Engage him at your leisure. Oh, you yeah, I can beat up Titan. About world intel and the like? I get he's a cyborg, but... certainly try. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I get he's a cyborg, but he, like... Does he have to say the same goddamn thing of like, is there any information about the world intel you would like? Which particular task would you like to learn about? Oh. What? <laughs> Simply put, life springs are formed when the life stream breaches the planet's surface. To Shinra, the volume of Mako that can be extracted from these springs is insignificant, certainly not worth the expense. But to us, 
they are a veritable font of knowledge. In order to tap these precious Ooh, reserves, more dialogue. Her, you will first need to find them. If you still All have right. questions life, about world life. intel, please ask away. Oh god, is oh right, sweet, that one that one was different. <laughs> While it is normal for creatures to adapt to their environment, sometimes these adaptations make them a threat. I would like you to track down and eliminate these creatures and amass data on them in the process. If you still have All right, she want me to commit mass please, murder on creatures uh, for data. Okay. In certain remote areas, fragments of planetary wisdom <laughs> sure, yes, sir. into crystalline forms. Though the knowledge contained within them is vast and varied, one subject is of particular interest to me, that of summons. If you would analyze the crystals in my stead, thus extracting said knowledge from them, I can use it to enhance our materia. If you oh, still okay, he wants her to go study intel, summons. Please, ask away. Ah, yes, I was hoping you would ask. I detected some strange energy signals earlier. My current theory is that they emanate from the remnants of ancient artifacts. But until we investigate, there's simply no telling what the sources might be. And since we have yet to identify them, I have taken the liberty of naming these objects Proto Relics. <laughs> A rather endearing name, if I may say so. At any rate, I would be grateful if you could investigate said curiosities and ultimately recover them for study. If you still have questions Sounds about interesting. World intel, please ask away. Uh, no, that is all the questions and dialogue I can handle at this moment to in time. Do you have any questions about world intel and the like? In that case, I see no reason not to begin at once. With your activation of this tower, my analysis of the grasslands has already yielded some data. Though hardly substantial, it is enough for me to create materia. Which of these would you like? Oh. Allows an ally to automatically use spells with the linked materia when not activated control battle. Activate auto unique abilities. Turn combat into morphous enemies with whose health have fallen below. What the morph material? What the hell is the point of that? Turns into items. Oh, okay. Oh man, I don't know what to go with. Fire and blizzard. Ooh. Actually, I think yeah, I'm gonna go with that one. Spend ten day to heart. Yes. Fire and ice is pretty good because it just lets you use both like f fire and blizzard skills, but only use have one materia on. Yeah. And like right now in the grasslands, like a lot of them are either like ice or fire. I've noticed. Yep. I wish you all the best in the long journey that lies ahead. Oh, I could have had to made another remember, one. I saw I another so ten, but whatever. Should you require assistance, just ask. Assessing, oh, assisting and defeating new fiends. Will okay, and blah blah. blah. Play these challenge or various rewards such as power for some materials. Speed the challenge as the simulator. <sighs> Tell know thy enemy. Cloud. I have recreated Titan, the mythical colossus of the grasslands, in virtual space. I encourage you to pit your skills against this summoned entity so that I might complete its materia. Um, use combat simulator. Okay, I want that <laughs> VR headset. Damn, that looks cool. Isn't it cool? Why can't our VR headsets look that cool? Uh, Battle Titan. Level sync. Um, uh, hmm. Do I have a death wish? No, no, I do not. Uh, 
Um, is there a trophy for doing the tutorial stuff? I'm not sure, but it's worth doing just for the XP and the extra materials. Yeah. They're fast, and you can level up your weapons, too. I think I just got dinged to hit. Oh, yeah, somebody dinged me off Discord. Oh. Yeah, well, uh, uh, let's see. Beginning hall. I'll do this one. To spend the combat simulation training, learn not only the ins and outs of battle. Okay. Barrack. Uh, yeah, I'm going to play as Cloud. Oh. Shit, did I forget to activate Barrett? <laughs> I'm going into battle by myself. Attack gauge is set. Oh. Why am I- why is Cloud alone? It said it was a team of two. Okay, switching the enemies yet. A triple slash and team sort of stripes. enough damage whatever sure I will get oh on now yes. I don't know what you're weak against you little elephant bastard <laughs> okay, I think I did that training completely wrong. Yeah. I went in with just Cloud and not Cloud and Barrett. But did you die? No, I did not. I actually completed it. It took me a minute to do it, but I'm going to go in right with both of them and see how I fare. See if I can do it a bit faster now that I have two people. Yeah. 
Nothing to it. Hell yeah. Let's see, weakness is... I don't know, while staggered. Uh, weakness is wind, I think? They're birds and they're weak against... Or they're monster, flying monsters weak against wind. Sounds about right. Yeah. minute and five so oh about 40 seconds left or less well that's not creepy as all hell <laughs> i turn the light off looking where my cat is i look down the hall she's just sitting down the hall i just see this like white shadow just sitting on the floor oops it's good <laughs> it's fucking muted i was laughing <laughs> I'm ready to pounce. Just send me to the target. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure how long I was muted for, but I was eating chips before you went to go pee. Oh, okay. So just before that. Yeah, so like about two minutes now. So I've been muted this whole time too. I was like, I do. I'm putting a bandaid on my finger because I like ripped the nail off. And I was oh, trying yeah, out the uh, this way I saw like on TikTok where they're like. Don't put it on normally. You gotta like cut slits in the side, and then you gotta like wrap your finger so like the yeah yeah. That's what I do. It's like it's supposed to apparently be like the proper way to use a band aid or the right way or whatever the hell it's called. So I was just like, you know, I'm gonna try that, and I think I fucked it up. <laughs> Uh, I guess I had another gun for Barrett this whole time. I don't know how long I had it for, but I didn't notice I had it. So I just put it on now. Thanks to you, my archives are filling up with combat hmm. data. No clue where I got it or how long I've had it for. Nope. Where did my phone just go? Oh, fell behind. Oh, yeah, so you want to hear something kind of fucked up? Or kind of funny? Yeah. So my mom decided to buy everybody their Easter gifts. Uh, early because like, she had the money so she figured she'd do it now and send it out to everyone but you couldn't open them you can't open them till easter so she got my niece and my sister uh bracelets and then me curtis and chris all throw pillow covers that are um that all have like different gaming sayings on them and they have like a little pouch where you put like your controller and stuff in i mean yeah <laughs> she's like uh the one i have is uh what the hell is it it's 
Uh, welcome to like the gaming spot. Don't get comfortable. Or this is a game. This is a gamer's spot. Don't get comfortable. <laughs> and yeah, she like I looked at it and because uh, she thought it wasn't gonna be in a clear like wrap or clear packaging. So um, I'm looking at it, and I'm like, <laughs> like I just started giggling. And I'm like, Mom, I already have these game. Like, the, it came with a pair of socks too. That says I'm a gamer, or I'm gaming. And I'm like, I already have these socks. I'm like, you already bought me them. <laughs> and she's like, Oh, well, now you have a second pair. And yeah, so she's like, because when I told her, I'm like, I'm looking right at it. She's like, what do you mean? And I'm like, it's clear packaging. I can see exactly what you got, what you got me. <laughs> she's like, oh, I didn't realize it would be like that. She's like, well, open it up, look at it, then put it back in the packaging and put it somewhere and wait for Easter. I'm like, uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, right. Needless to say, many hazards await you on the road, so take care. Oh. Oh yeah, look at the goodies. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Any level? Ooh, what's this? Fiend Intel, level 17. Level 6. I'm guessing they will level up with you. Like the Fiend Intel. So like if I become 18, the Fiend Intel will become 18. I don't think so. I think mine was still 17. Okay. Level 18, activate planes. Oh, I already found that one. Oh, wow. I'm two out of three for the grasslands. I'm thinking that's the cards or locations. I'm not fucking sure. Oh, no, I think it's the yeah, I think it's the card game. The Queen's Blood, the two out of three underneath the name. Oh, newly discovered radio towers, Mo Moogle Intel, the mod stand. Oh, okay. Oh, so if you go to Intel, you can see everything it wants you to do in that area. Oh, god damn, this is fucking awesome. So much RPG, RPG stuff to do. All right, can I get my um, my chocobo? Is he is he done eating? Hey, perfect timing. Pico's all prepped. But first, here, you just give that whistle a toot, and your chocobo will come a running. Power one chocobo whistle and something bird. Cool. Call, call a trophy in a region once you have wrangled. Oh, you have to wrangle a bird and eat. Oh, okay, understandable. Hi, Mika. Understandable because, like, one chocobo won't probably be able to take the terrain of another, like, region. So, who here's never been on Chocoback? I haven't. Why don't we take a few laps to get you comfortable then? Come with me. Can I customize my birdie now? Yeah, I customize my bird. <laughs> oh, cool. You can change the color of it. Uh, 
Uh, I like the red on them. Oh, not a problem. I'm here. I think my buddy's sleeping now. <laughs> or just. Nope. Oh, I'm alive. You're just, okay, you're away. I, all I hear is. <sighs> and I was like, I don't know if you're breathing or snoring. I'm eating hot food. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, yeah. You're still eating the lime? Mm hmm. <laughs> uh, Mika's hanging out because she's tired and we're bo we can bore her to sleep. Oh, tricks. <laughs> I'm a boring no one, streamer. Ain't no one more boring than us. <laughs> she says hi. Hello, Mika. Man, what are you ever gonna say if I ever get a girl from Miko? Are you gonna call her other other? She's gonna be the other other? You're gonna be other so Tom's other and your the girlfriend's gonna be other other. Man, that'll be the day. Alright, get to the pink color. Here's where we get our birds in shape for the races. <laughs> what races? The gold saucers, I mean. They're a big deal in our community. Won't find a ranch around here that doesn't compete. So you guys race too? We've been sitting it out since mom and dad left. But we're gonna get back in the fight soon and kick the tar out of one particularly nasty weasel. But never you mind all that. You just focus on the basics, like making sure you don't get thrown from the saddle. Why don't you try hopping on Pico and giving me a holler? But why? Why am I doing it? Aerith is the one who wanted to ride the damn thing. Hour? Oh, cool. I can. Doesn't sense anything here. Oh. Smout dash. This way. Uh. Uh. Okay. Oh, I gotta talk to him. Okay. But how's about we stretch his legs a bit? Hmm. Oh, just her name. <laughs> other doesn't want to be called other. I'll need a nickname or something. <laughs> I don't think he minds being called other. He hasn't complained since. Or yet. <laughs> no. That's fine. Uh, use the training grounds on Billy's ranch to get the hang of the chuckle riding. Alright, sweet. I'm just a, a faceless voice in the void. <laughs> yep. You're a figment of my imagination in my headphones. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> That'd be a fun concept. <laughs> guy, I think he's gaming with a friend online, but it's really just his fucking own brain. Oh god, <laughs> It's revealed that his headset was never plugged in. I'm, I'm making. I'm like looking at my headset right now. <laughs> hey, first place with thirty second, thirty point sixty six seconds. That was something else. Man, that is scary to think now. What it takes to win a race or two at the gold saucer. We can't thank you enough, Billy. Oh, that reminds me. Y'all mentioned your flat broke, right? Then you might want to swing by calm again. Now that the troopers have cleared out, it's probably safe for you to ask around for work. Though don't run. Well, we're not actually flat broke. We have like almost three grand in skill. Didn't want to confide in me for whatever reason. Honestly, though in part one we were millionaires. They did dang near everything together. You want to lend Chloe a hand? Well, I mean, Cloud had all the money, and they're all living in the freaking ghetto. Yeah. 
That and I did use the money cheat. Yeah, and I did use the money cheat on the PS4 version. So I had was like, so I was walking around with some bank. <laughs> you just jingles while you walk. <laughs> All the coins. People in the world are willing to pay Top Gill for Cloud's hand for a higher service. Oh, oh, they'll pay. They'll pay for Cloud services. All right. He'll do anything for Gill. <laughs> My fucking coworkers, they're so bad for Cloud too. Christ. I was sending her like fucking DVR <laughs> images for, of Cloud. I'm Wait, sorry, I, I already got my lady that I got, that I'm like thirsting for, as I'm totally, trying to. I totally relax, it's just a dry. <laughs> it's not a dry, it's animated right now, man. I'm just trying to look up her skirt. It's a, it's a drawing that moves. <laughs> That's why I need a data cosplayer. Um, I didn't even see the rewards I got for this. Oh. Go. You're back. I oh. heard you might need some help. You did? Oh, I see. Billy talked to you, didn't he? I've been meaning to go pick flowers, but the planes are way too dangerous for that. I'm sorry to hear that. As a flower lover myself, I sympathize. Uh, the thing excuse is, me. I want to make a flower crown. Mom used to make them for us all the time. So I wanted to give it a try, but with all the monsters... Man, did we ever find out why their went. parents left? Here's an idea. Or Maybe we could do the died for you? or abandoned them? Sure. I think you do. Huh? Yeah, what happened to your parents? The truth is, our parents died in an accident. Oh, yeah, they died. Really little. Billy doesn't like to talk about it. Sorry. We used to go on these family picnics. Yeah, I wanted to know. And after we were done eating, Mom would make flower crowns for me and oh. Billy. I'd wear mine for dates. Um, ask your brother to go for you. I would, but it's a gift. He's had to work so hard since we're on our own. I wanted to do something nice for him. Of course. I promise you we'll keep it a surprise. Alright, um... How do you know Sam? I shouldn't tell you this, but he's the reason Mom and Dad died. That's what Billy says. I don't know. He always changes the subject when I ask. I am Sam. Sam I am. Really? You will? No, Sam. I will not eat green eggs and ham. Will you fucking like it? I won't eat it in a car. I won't eat it on a train. I won't eat it over there or over here. You can't make me, Sam. Would you um, eat it in a house? Would you eat it with a mouse? I would not eat it on a in a house. I will not eat it with a mouse. I will not eat it on a boat. Even if I need to float. You'll not eat it with a goat, yeah. <laughs> not in the dark, not in a train, not in a car, not in the rain. No, no I will not. I will not eat green ace and ham. Sam I am. Well, fuck you. <laughs> I think that's how it goes. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what I mean. Eat it, bitch! Did you ever watch the, I think it's, it was on Netflix, the, the TV show, that, like the cartoon show they did? No, but I debated watching it Lyris. I just forgot that it existed, to be honest. Yeah, I, I watched it, like, I, like, they came out with two seasons. Why is this red bird following me? Um, yeah, follow the, the red bird. I'm actually following the red bird. Yeah, you they got a. It? Yeah, I watched uh, the two seasons. The first one is like him, uh, like Sam, and. Um, fuck, I forget the guy's name.
Area Link discovered. Look at that. You've stumbled upon a life spring. Oh, I found a life spring. Yeah, it was Guy. That was it. It was Sam and Guy. And yeah, the first season is like about them and everything, which I thought was really nice. And then the second season is uh, explores more about like Sam and why he's looking for his mother. Hmm. Yeah. So he explores on that. Surveying life skins grand wisdom. But ah. do they actually eat green eggs in here? Yes, they do. Okay. Otherwise, what's I the fall point? asleep. So, good night. Good night, Mika. You last for like ten minutes. <laughs> yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> Could that be a life? Good night. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> fucking. Eat. There's so much stuff around this thing. All right, what do I do with it? Ah, oh, just jab it. Oh god, uh, it's a mini game. Oh. Intel relay for Chad. Serving light springs allow you to cipher the knowledge of the light spring, revealing the regional intel. Touchpad, regional intel. Okay. I literally just put that away to pull it back out. So yes, sir. Regional intel. Oh, okay. Just gives you information about the area. Or the history. Oh, cool. All the. All right. Can I go to like? The actual building I wanted to go to. I was like, I was trying to go to like the first tower you ever come across in the grasslands, and that's when I found the bird, and I was just like, ooh, bird. to equip that material I got. Uh, cloud. Fire and ice, there we go. Um. Yeah, why not? I got the fire one. I'll use both of them. Actually, it kind of makes no point using both. No. Okay, remove that material. There, remove that. Assist. <laughs> oh, we're almost level 18. Yes. I mean, yes, you started at 15, so it's not... Yeah, it's not too far, but... It... 
Like, I, I, I've just been running around the grasslands and beating up everything. This is the way? This is the way. Do you know the way? Do you know the way? I don't know the way. I know the Awombo way. Awombo way. What was that? These tough little chicks will lead you to chocobo stops. That little fucker scared the crap out of me. Oh, he wants me to repair it. Okay. What the hell is on his back? What the hell is growing out of that chocobo's back? Is that supposed to be his feather butt? Alright, I can pet the chocobo. I give it a oh. 2 out of 10. Oh. Yeah, I pet the baby chocobo. Yeah, I did that too. But I'm just like wondering why there's like a sack with a... Like a plant growing out of its butt. I'm guessing that's still kind of like it's egg. I don't know. No escape. I kind of turned around and just KO, I don't know where I'm fucking going. You're done. Hell, I'm sure I'm fucking exploring right now. <laughs> I just fucking I've got two br- Ah, oh, they disappeared. I was about to take a photo of them. I'm at one of the, uh, the towers, and these two birds just like, flew into the tower, and they were in like a like a T pose. <laughs> it does suck that doing the towers, it doesn't like clear the fog from the map. So, like you gotta still like un like still discover the area, so that kind of sucks. But it is neat that it gives you like points of in interest. All right, that's level eighteen. That was oh, okay. Yeah. So whatever level you are when you discover some discover them, is whatever level you'll be, or it will be. Yeah, that first fighting one is level 17, and I'm level 18 now. Okay. And I activated another tower and got another fighting, or fiend intel, and it's a level 18. Um, but I said I can go back to Shinra, so... Or not Shinra, um... Uh, calm. Uh, yeah, I go back there. Uh, no, I don't want to fast throw. I want to place a. There it is. Place a waypoint. Oh. 
Yeah, turning on that uh, indicator really helped. It did, didn't it? Yeah. I'm fucking lost in this cave. I have no clue where to go. The map's not helpful at all. Oh. My like cloud is basically almost dead. I don't know why I have like so little health. You know what that metal monstrosity is, don't you? It's a pipeline. It moves Mako pumped in Midgar to the outlying towns and whatever else. <sighs> you call it a pipeline. No idea where to go, man. So bad. This is called Ice Caverns, oh, I guess. I know. How about we break it in half and stick one? Might look for a quick video guide and see where they went, because I just can't find a fucking way. Oh, blame me. Real genius one. Oh. And unique? Very. Oh, come on! What about breaking the pipeline? I wasn't paying that attention. They want to break the pipeline because it pumps Mako from the or water or something. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention to what Barrett was saying. I did see it was broken, and so I was trying to explore it, but it cloud didn't want to crouch. Never in doubt. 